Well, this is a great event here this year with uh, King Isbit's Royal Palace and Palatial Playground. And as you see behind me, we've got um, the high school teams are competing with their snow sculptures. Um, I think we have about 15 teams out here, Frazee, Lake Park, Audubon, and Detroit Lakes. Uh, and they have the one day to do these huge snow sculptures and compete against each other for the traveling trophy of a snow shovel. Um, and overall, it's just been a, just a great week of success of getting everybody outdoors to embrace and enjoy the Boulder North of Minnesota and why we live up here to love Minnesota, the ice that we have and the snow that we have. And yeah, stuff you can do during the winter but can't do in the summer. It's going pretty good, I guess. Um, we're in advanced art right now, so we got the opportunity to do this. And it's like it's nice like seeing other creations from other schools. I've never I've never taken a sculpture class before. I've always been like a 2D artist, so doing something 3D has really honestly made me a little nervous, but I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> Um, we just decided one day during class that we wanted to make Spongebob's house and so that's what we did. We've been working since about 8 o'clock this morning, I think. Uh, we stopped to have some lunch and now we're just pushing through until 2 o'clock. So, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> sculpting competition that was held uh, back on the uh, 8th and 9th um, was a huge success. We had uh, five teams ranging from St. Paul, Rochester, Minnesota, West Fargo, Lake Park, Audubon, and, and Moorhead. Um, and they competed for two days with 10 blocks each, 3,000 pounds of ice, and they sculpted some amazing pieces that uh, are just mind-blowing and they're lit up at night. Um, and the ice is just, it's a man-made ice, so it's crystal clear. And, uh, you know, as opposed to like the ice that we use for the palaces harvested from the lake, when they shine it up, it looks just like glass. It's amazing. Um, and, it, you know, and if you've been out and seen the palace and the throne, it has the ice, and, I mean, the ice has the uh, weeds and imperfections in it, the bubbles and some of that. And that in itself lends to uh, lighting so much differently than the man-made ice of the sculpture. Yeah, and last year we were surprised, uh, right actually before we opened up this year's event, that we were the winners, the recipient of Explore Minnesota's 2018 New Event of the Year Award for the state of Minnesota, which is a huge, huge honor. Uh, and that was, uh, it took us just by surprise, and it's so exciting to know going forward, we've actually created an event that is recognized throughout the state of Minnesota as a very great destination location to go to experience outdoor winter fun. So I'd like to thank uh, the community because this is a, a project that's all volunteers. We're out here doing this because we want to give back more to our community than what we receive and so it, it's, it's by the community for the community. And without your generous support this wouldn't happen. So all the businesses, all the individuals, the volunteers, the palace guards, the builders, um, students like this that are participating, 
This is what makes this event a part of Detroit Lakes, why Detroit Lakes is such an incredible place to live.